Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get all the updates. Ah, really excited for today's video and a little nervous. So, um, I was going to drink a beer while I did this, but I didn't think I'd have room. So, uh, Chris is a madman, and he sent me two boxes. Uh, apparently, there's a third one coming next week. And one of them, and I think it's one of these two, has uh, ice packs in it to try to keep uh, some fruited beers cold. Uh, uh, had some issues with re-fermentation in the can. So, uh, yeah, Chris is a madman. So thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. But you are a madman, sir. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get these off. <laughs> and, oh, I guess I should leave one up. All right. Um... I don't know. He sent me a couple, like, pictures and screen grabs of beers he was talking about getting. They sounded amazing. I just can't for the life of me remember what was what. One was an adjuncted stout. So anyway, the, the short version is I'm basically going in blind. Um, but maybe when I see some stuff, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I do kind of remember this or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked, man. Yeah, he, he texts me, he's like, you better make room. <laughs> he wasn't lying. Nice, we're having some nice warm days here, so it'd be nice to do a couple beer reviews, finish them outside. Might try to do some outdoor re beer reviews, might even try one today. Um, but anyway... All right, wow, this is, <laughs> there's not, there's, uh, how do I put this? There's an adequate amount of packaging. There's not extra. I thought some of this would be some, you know, packaging. No, these beers are just packed. <laughs> there's a lot of beer in the box is what I'm trying to say. Holy cow. I was going to do a live stream, but I, I painted that room today and it's drying and I got to like, you know, put everything back. So... No live stream right now. Oh, let's get into it. General General Braddock. So this is from Brew Gentlemen. Uh, this is a one of their 12 ounce cans. A soft, a soft and balanced American IPA, 6.8% ABV. I do remember him talking about this beer. Ah, monkish. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of the, the, the a lot of this this video where I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Monkish Anniversary Double Dry Hop India Pale Ale with Phantasm. And if I'm remembering correctly, uh, because I had a beer with this, it's from a grape musk? Or am I getting my wires crossed? But anyway, I'll, I'll try to remember to look it up before I do a review. 8.2% ABV, Loop of Death. Oh, that's intense. <laughs> uh, looks like this box has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve beers in it. And that's just the first box. <laughs> uh, four points. I've really liked their stuff. This is an 8.5% beer. It's uh, overbranded, a hazy double IPA, brewed exclusively with Nelson. Very cool. I'll read more when I do the review. Only Nelson. That's rad. Okay, but yeah, four points has been, in my opinion, they've been killing it. <laughs> he sent me a beer tree beer, which is funny because I live closer to them than Chris does, but he was up that way. Uh, but that's funny. Uh, beer tree photosphere, New England style pale ale, 5.4% ABV. Um, oh, it's from the Johnson City, their, their new brewery uh, that they opened. Very cool. I do kind of remember that one as well. Another four points. Boss Puzzle. Great can art. I hope that comes off in the video. <clears throat> in the video. Uh, India Pale Ale, 6.6% ABV. Uh... Man, beast, and bird with coconut, cacao nibs, and vanilla bean. 
this might be the one that we we're talking about with the adjuncted stouts. So this is also from uh, Four Points. Uh, halfway through the first box. <laughs> Dude, you're a madman. <laughs> uh, another 12-ouncer uh, another from um, Brew Gentleman. This is Albatross. And uh, it says and double IPA. Uh, a double IPA made with Galaxy Hops. Uh, double IPA made with Galaxy Hops. 8% ABV. Oops. Jack Yeo's Dark Apparition Russian Imperial Stout. Nice. I don't know if I've ever had this. Very cool. Because he... I gotta do it soon. It's like right where I can't reach it easily. I do plan on doing this one. The uh, barrel age version he gave me from, I think, last year. Uh, so it's on my to-do list. I'll put it over here. Instead of contorting myself again. This one's got a picture of a gingerbread man. I wonder what that beer could be. Um, like what's what adjuncts are probably in that beer is what I mean. But I'm going to make you wait for it. I'm going to do the other one first. Get up with it. Imperial Stout 14.1% ABV. Holy crap. Oh, cool. Uh, brewed and canned by Thin Man Brewery of Buffalo, New York. Elmwood. 46 Elmwood Ave. I lived on Elmwood because I went to Buffalo State College, which is on Elmwood and, in Buffalo. And um, I don't remember for the life of me what my address was. So I don't know how, because this was like a brewery there when I was there. But yeah, I don't know how close this is to where I used to live uh, in Buffalo. Uh, it's a small batch. And yeah, that's freaking rad, dude. Oh, <laughs> got the gingerbread one. Brewing Co oh, Big Timber Brewing Company gingerbread stout made with molasses, lactose, coffee, ginger, cinnamon, and vanilla. 11.2% ABV. Nice low ABV beer. <laughs> Last two beers from box one. You're so crazy, man. Ah, animal style. Very cool. So this is also from Beer Tree. Uh, American IPA, 6.5% ABV. I think I've had this as part of a flight. I don't think I've ever had a proper pour or a whole can of this. That's awesome. Cashmere, Cascade, Citra, Comet, Chinook, I think. It, it's the way the letters are. It's a little hard to read. I think it's Chinook and then Idaho 7 because it was all sea hops and they get to Idaho 7. Um... Oh, yeah, I already said 6.5% ABV. And unbranded India Pale Ale made using two-row wheat and moter hops with notes of grapefruit, passion fruit, and pine. One pint keep cold. Oh, here we go. Four points brewing. All right. The next box, which I don't... I guess I'll have to cut it a little... Awkwardly on slash off camera. I could just see my elbow knocking those beers over. Did not cut myself. I know about half the people who watch this channel, the unboxing videos, watch it just to see if I cut myself. Alright, this is the one that had the cold packs. They're still pretty cold. Alrighty. I'm assuming they're all fruited. Maybe for space he put some that aren't fruited in here. Uh, mango pineapple. Oh, oh, how do you pronounce? Yeah, it's double biotics. I think it's biotics. I struggled with that last time. Nine percent ABV, fruited with those fruits again from Four Points. Holy crap! Looks like this one has <laughs> pistachios. I do happen to love pistachios. Uh, it has four more beers. It looks like.
These are going to be from Hightower, another brewery that I think has been doing really good things. Actually, they're, right now one of their beers is on my top beers of 2021. I know it's still relatively early, but oops, that's how good it was. Juice Box, uh, Through My Lens is a series Juice Box. It's got oranges on it. Maybe it's just orange. It's a little hard to read the yellow on this like gray silver color. 4% ABV just says fruited sour. I'm gonna guess it's just orange. I'll try to remember to look it up before I drink it on camera. Uh, through my lens, double blackberry pie. Holy cow, that sounds awesome. 8% ABV. I, I do love blackberries. All right, the last two from this box. And I'm definitely gonna get these in the fridge soon to try to keep them from re-fermenting. And this is Graphic Language, Blackberry, Blueberry, Raspberry, Milk, Sugar, Vanilla. Holy crap. Also from Four Points. Fruited Sour, 10.5% ABV. You know those, like, those nice low ABV Fruited Sours? Yeah, some of these are those. And then some of these are these giant <laughs> ABV ones, dude. Practically speechless. Thank you so much, Chris. Seriously, man, I, you are... You are equal parts madman and gentleman, so I do appreciate it, and uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, it's crazy, dude. Took two boxes. That's nuts. So thanks again, Chris. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews in both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.